Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I wanted to highlight some controversy between a privacy and security focused custom ROM called Graphene OS and Google. Recently, it was discovered that Authy, a popular two factor authentication application, was no longer working on devices that were using this custom ROM. This was due to an update to Authy that began using the Google Play Integrity API to see if a device was using modified software or not. Meaning, if your phone is rooted, if you have a custom ROM installed, or even if you just have the bootloader unlocked, then you are likely not passing Play Integrity checks. And if you aren't passing Play Integrity checks, then some apps may choose to prevent you from using them. Personally, I have the bootloader of my daily driver unlocked just in case of software boot loops. This allows me the option to manually flash a fresh copy of the Android firmware to get things back up and running. But since the bootloader is unlocked, I'm also failing the play integrity checks required to use apps like Authy. You can see how messed up the system is, yet Google claims there's no other options at the moment. So even if you aren't using a custom ROM, or even if you aren't modifying the Android file system, Google claims they have no way of knowing if the operating system is official, and that means they must assume it's bad. However, things get a bit more spicy as Graphene OS claims it has irrefutable proof that the majority of certified Android devices do not comply with Google's compatibility test suite nor do they comply with its compatibility definition document. They then go on to say that the Play Integrity API is based on lies due to the claim that Google allows devices from certain OEMs instead of banning them. They claim the system is unfair and that Google could easily work with custom ROM makers who follow the proper security guidelines. The team says they have tried working with Google to get things up and running again. Since Graphene OS does have their own set of signed keys for the hardware they support. That makes it seem like they should be able to get in contact with Google and make sure that devices with their software have the correct keys in place. Google claims these discussions are in place. However, they also state that it's a lot of work from both sides and that this will also include lawyers as well. They then end this discussion by saying their team is happy to help the custom ROM community, but higher level support is tough because, quote, modders are such a tiny, tiny fraction of the user base, end quote. As of right now, Graphene OS is in talks with regulators around the world, hoping to get some additional support via laws that will force Google to put in the effort. And it's not like Google doesn't have the funds to put towards something like this. For now, many of us fear that more and more applications will begin using the Play Integrity API to prevent certain people from using the, their applications. I have read the Uber driver app blocks this as well. And I would actually be curious to see a list of all the applications that are blocked on devices due to the Play Integrity API. If you have noticed an application no longer works on your device due to this API check, then let me know down in the comments section below. And please, don't forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android news content like this.